Hey everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, today we're going to talk about the penetration test with the Skiffish. Uh, this is again going to be uh, like you know the tool which you would like to use for the first phase of the testing when you're trying to gather the information or like you know you're doing the information gathering phase where uh, you want to see what the servers are and what the technologies that the application are using and uh, some enumeration phase, right? So that's what we're going to discuss in this one, and we'll also see a demo on how uh, to run this tool accurately and what different options that you have. Uh, again, if you like this video, uh, please hit the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Uh, let's get started. So what is Skiffish? So the Skiffish is the Active Application Security Recurrences tool. So what it does is it uh, sort of like... Uh, the spidering that the burp uh, we saw in one of the previous video. Uh, then it also performs uh, brute force or directly based attacks. Now this tool is uh, again open source and it came with the Kali Linux. So if you have Kali Linux, you can just, just use this tool. Uh, it does all the crawling feature and then the dictionary based uh, like in you know, a probing and uh, you can provide the dictionary based on whatever uh, dictionary that you are using. Also, it does come up with a few dictionary, and then also uh, Kali does have uh, some examples as well, which you can uh, use. Uh, one a benefit of uh, Skiffish is it gives you the HTML report. Now, all the other tools that we have reviewed so far, other than Burp, of course, it gives you a result on screen or either XML or, or some other formats. Now this is the HTML report so which you can use by yourself. You can also, if you have to give it to your developer team uh, like to fix some of these issues, so you can also download and, and give the report to them as well. So that's that's quite convenient. Uh, and of course, uh, looking at the HTML report is much better than just looking at the screen uh, of the results, right? Okay, so uh, let's get into the demo uh, and see how this Skiffish uh, really works. Okay, uh, so this is the uh, Skiffish uh, help page where you can see a bunch of different commands and uh, arguments or parameters and the values you need to pass. Uh, we'll use the most important one into this demo. So one of them is the username and password because you do want to uh, make sure that you crawl the site using the username and password. And, and uh, since this is just an open source tool, you cannot expect everything from it. Like it does not, if there is a complex authentication, it, it's not going to do that. Also, if it's something uh, uh, like, you know, you are locked again, authenticating on one page and then you are redirecting, the application is redirecting on a different domain, then of course, it's not going to handle it. Uh, so that's those are a few limitations, but of course, it's open source. And if it's a simple application with the uh, form authentication, it should be able to go through. Uh, from the scope options, you can uh, limit as much as you can. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to... So whatever the domain that you give, it's going to crawl the entire domain. So you won't have options to uh, limit it but yeah uh, of course if you uh, configure this call options you have uh, so for example how much depth you want to go like 16 is the default but uh, sometimes i have seen the scanners going like you know 8 or 10 so you can of course change it as you may like uh, reporting option as well uh, you can uh, get the report as verbose as you want uh, of course you have to select these options accordingly you can write output to the specified directory like log warnings or not and then log all the HTTP intent mismatches log all urls and emails seen completely surplus duplicate nodes in the reports be quite disable real-time progress stats you can also do that if you do not like to be verbose and then Enable runtime logging, uh, so that's also uh, another option. Uh, I told you about the dictionary, so you have to provide the word list. Kali has few, and then uh, you can also download your and supply that. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, but here is something, uh, a few options that you can configure. And lastly, the performance settings. 
which is uh, how many uh, simultaneous CISPR connection that you would like to allow. Uh, so again, this depends on the what's the web server capacity. Sometimes you do not want to overflow the server, so if you want to limit the connection, then you can manage it here. And uh, other requests, like you know how many requests per second, duration, uh, and those sort of things, and config file. So this is uh, so how you run the scan. Uh, first, I'm gonna provide the skiffish and then the word list that I want it to uh, do sort of brute forcing attack, and then provide the username and password. You provide the output directory where you want the output to be stored, and then uh, what is the uh, login page. So. Uh, if you provide this information, it will uh, dive in and like you know start scanning. So as you can see here, it gives you some sort of warnings to about the scan. Press Control C. Then uh, watch the number of requests. If this is going down, that means uh, maybe web server is not responding or there is some problem with the uh, skiffish. Now the scanner does not auto limit the scope, which we already talked about. So you have to scope it uh, by yourself and they do provide new release every month. So if you run into trouble, uh, check for the new version first and otherwise let the author know. Uh, you can download, uh, because it's open source, everything is available on this particular uh, uh, link. So you can download. And uh, here they give you the warning as well. As a disclaimer, this is configured to be disabled brute force attacks and will make about per feasible location. If this is not what you wanted, stop now and cancel the documentation. Press any key to continue. So now the scan has started. It will give you some real-time statistics, uh, what the scan, like how the database is doing, and it gives the detail. And it, it takes a while to complete the scan. So what I did was I ran one scan. Mm. I think this was yesterday, yeah. So I ran the scan uh, yesterday, and it finished up. Uh, I think the credentials I might have provided the wrong one, so it might or not have finished. But uh, yes. Yeah, so then now let's take a look at the HTML report. So uh, when the, this scan is finished, we'll have the same results. So but so when you go to the output directory, this is what you're gonna see. Uh, you just double click on the HTML file and it should open up in the browser and this is how it looks like uh, this is give you call results so this is like a high level summary what was the what were the issues found and the cache directives and all those things and then uh, as you scroll down oops yeah as you scroll down you will also uh, have some more uh, information on resource fetch field then how many URLs were vulnerable to it or how many instances of their finding was and then you can also click on it and then it will take you directly there. So uh, this is sort of interactive report and easy to understand. Uh, that's what I feel and uh, that's why uh, this is a good tool to have in your arsenal just as and when you require and when the other tool you found might not be sufficient for that. So I think that's about it uh, for this particular uh, video. Uh, thank you again for your time and keep subscribing and uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And let me know in the comment section what else would you like to uh, hear. I know I have got several comments on uh, giving some talks about the AWS security or the cloud security in general, and then also some pen testing. So we'll we'll I'll I'll try my best to do it. But yeah, this is all I can do once a week. Uh, but yeah, keep keep giving me the ideas and I'll, I'll try to follow as much as I can. Thank you so much again and I'll see you guys next time.